What's up guys? We got a really cool one today. We're heading down to Lapeer Dragway uh, where uh, Don Walsh Jr. is going to be driving the Speedcore Dodge Demon. That's the completely carbon fiber Dodge Demon that Leah Pritchett drove and set the Demon record in uh, last year. So the car's here. Don, Donnie's going to be driving it out at Roadkill Nights on Woodward. Um, so a bunch of those guys that are running the Woodward race here on Saturday are out at Lapeer Dragway today uh, trying to get their cars to go down on a non-prep surface. Most of these guys don't do the no-prep game, so it should be interesting with uh, an IRS car making the kind of power that this Demon makes. It makes a little over 1200 to the tire and the turbos hit pretty hard on that car. So probably have to pull a lot of power out of it to make it go down the track. So uh, it'll be pretty interesting, but we're also going to have that car on the channel here in the near future, probably sometime next week or the following if everything works out um, where we're going to run it on a prep surface at a track rental and try to break the Demon record again, which that car holds. So it should be able to pick up uh, a few tenths from uh, what it did. They, they got the car figured out a little bit more now, but today the, the whole goal is to make the car go down a completely unprepped surface, uh, so it should be pretty interesting, guys. Thanks for tagging along. out at Lapeer Dragway and the car behind me is something really special. Uh, this is the Speedcore all carbon fiber record setting Dodge Demon. The entire car is built out of carbon fiber, big twin turbos on it, runs on E85. Um, so we're gonna kind of follow this car through the day, run it down the track a bunch of times. Don Walsh Jr. is gonna be driving it. Um, we'll see what the track conditions look like. I'm not sure that uh, they're there right now to so you can see uh, everything's carbon, even the bumper. The turbos live right up here in the bumper on this thing. One piece, uh, this intake manifold is the, the only one in the world with it. So cool. They made. So do you use that manifold on your other the other ones yeah. you build? We're actually making other ones out of billet. That one is that one's cast. That okay. Was the first, you know, like uh, the test though, like, But when you build a turbo car it essentially has the same setup. Yeah. Tile blow off out. Unopened motor, that's just crazy. hundred percent. 12, what it? 12, 12, 17 at the tire. 12, 17 at the tire, unopened motor. Turbo life. <laughs> Do you, are you having the, the Whipple ones live at that power level? Uh, they don't make that much. Um, at the same boost level, we're making closer to like the thousand high 900s. You know, right. It takes to make this same power, it takes almost 30 pounds. Wow. What's the name of your shop? Put it on there. Gearhead Fabrications. Gearhead Fabrications. They are in uh, where in Florida? Uh, Jensen Beach, Florida. Jensen Beach, Florida. For all you Mopar guys. Build you one of these. What do you do the most of? Whipples conversions or what? Um, we do a lot of Whipples, mostly Hellcats. Yeah. A lot of Hellcat demon situations. Uh, pulleys, tunes, that type of thing. Sure. Turbos. 
So do you you make you'll make this kit for other cars? I will. Okay. Yeah. We do custom turbo kits from race cars to street cars. Just had a uh, rain shower come through here right as we we're about to go up to the staging lanes. So we are uh, in a probably a one hour holding pattern now. Everyone's wiping off cars. Total bummer. But we got all day. Sun is uh, now shining, so hopefully we will get to the action here soon. The good news is after the uh, rain went away, the wind also died down, so you can probably hear me now. This is the guy who built the uh, turbo kit on the car, Gearhead Fabrications. He's actually here from Florida, right there. So definitely check check out his shop if you're a Mopar guy to do specifically Dodges. He did the uh, the cage in here as well. Really cool, tucked up, nice. obviously spinning pretty hard that this is a, a no prep event right now they're getting ready for uh, dream cruise uh, on m1 so the, that'll be an unprep surface so they're letting these cars all go unprep i think they're going to prep one lane here in about a half hour um, so hopefully we can get the car to at least make a full pass right now we're going to go turn it down a whole bunch and uh, see if we can at least make it make a pass on the unprep surface up the line this will be the fourth pass uh, unfortunately the car just is making too much we can't get down the track yet so we just turned the boost controller completely off we're just gonna run it on the uh, wastegate springs which I think are uh, three pound springs so it's gonna go down it'll go down right now and uh, we'll at least be able to get a little bit of data and then start turning it up from there track is starting to get a little bit better as more and more cars go down it um, especially these big Big tire cars are doing long burnout, so we are heading up there now. We'll see what it does. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
it uh, went down the track on the spring, which is cool. So now we're just gonna, uh, they're gonna put a little more boost into it, but let it get out. So still gonna leave on the spring and then slowly bring in boost uh, about half track and see if it'll uh, if it'll go. Track's coming around, it's getting a little bit better, obviously, as people are doing burnouts and rubber's getting laid down, so stay tuned. <laughs> That uh, pretty much sums up the day. Uh, car just, we cannot get it to go down this track with any power in it. Went down uh, on the spring, that one pass, which is uh, kind of what we needed it to figure out what power level it needs to be at to work uh, on Woodward. So that's uh, kind of where we're gonna leave it for today. All right, guys, we're back at the house. Um, I wasn't sure I was even gonna shoot uh, this video once we got out there, because the car was kind of a fail. Didn't really, uh, you know, blow anyone's doors off but i guess it was kind of the point of of what today was you know my expectations were that it was going to go super fast um just because it's capable of going fast but that wasn't the point of today the point of today was make it go down a unprepped surface and i've been to a lot of drag strips uh and seen lots of different prep and i have to say that was terrible <laughs> and that was the point i mean they had it it was like it was literally like glass out there um so some guys did get down it um we had to pull a lot of power out of that car basically like i said the the only full pass it made was on the three pound wastegate springs so we're talking the car was probably only making you know 600 horsepower or so uh at that level but hey, it went down the track and we got really good data. So hopefully it'll do well on Saturday out at uh, Roadkill on M1. I'm definitely gonna shoot a lot of footage of that. And like I said uh, in the intro, we will be running that car on a prep surface here in the near future. So if you're not subscribed, please do. If you are subscribed, definitely turn on your notification bell so you don't miss that. Um, and I wanna ask you guys, what kind of content do you like? So maybe comment uh, down below. Do you like uh, you know this race car stuff? Do you like the build breakdowns? Tell me what you guys wanna see and I'll try to do more of that. I did a couple point of view things, uh, driving the car, uh, you know detailing cars I do a lot of that so comment down below let me know what you want to see more of uh, and I'll do my best to keep it coming um, you know summer's still here in Michigan so I'm gonna shoot as much as I can while it is uh, so thanks for watching guys peace